day, all day long, beautiful day this morning, and I even come back, more of the shade coming over the top of the tabernacle on this breeze, we thank the Lord for that. And uh, this is a day, Lord, hey. Hey. we're definitely going to rejoice and be glad in. We'll take a few minutes tonight, uh, as we, we try to do every service, we're going to have some old prayer, give people an opportunity to pray. Let's continue to pray, of course, for Brother Lee Will Hub, it's his family during this time. Let's remember, remember him and his family. Uh, let's remember, of course, Brother Richard Cohen, continue to pray for him. Uh, we talked to Brother Green a little bit ago. He really requested prayer, pray for him uh, and his family. Just so many needs. Of course, we've uh, had a lot of uh, uh, unspoken requests continue, the burdens continue uh, to be on people's hearts, so we want to pray these unspoken requests and be obedient to the Lord. And we want to we want to be mindful of Him in the service tonight. Amen. It says, if you will, just play softly there. Let's take a few moments. Let's gather around the altars, pray, ask God's blessing on the service tonight. Heavenly Father God, we praise you for the Lord. Lord, we pray, God, for all this prayer. Amen. God, how we pray for each other, both of us pray for the Lord. We'll see you tonight, God, by the end of this God. Lord, I pray you work in each one of us. God, we pray for Brother Tom, God. I pray you help me, Lord. Continue to heal him. Give him great and great. God, we pray for Brother Lee. I pray you help him, God, and comfort him. Give him great courage and great God to do this. God, I pray for a church. God, how you bless and move on, God. Work in the hearts of your people. God, I pray for our pastors and priests and leaders and guides and people. I pray you help us. You'll be great witnesses. Turn to your word. God, we ask you to give us our heart. God, move. God, I pray your way. Your will be done here at the church, God. And all done this circle tonight, God. God, I pray you bless each one who works. Do your will, Lord, here at the church, God. Service. God, thank you for great providing. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your long suffering, God. And your drawing of us, Lord, in our hearts. God, we ask and pray unto you, God. Forgive us, Lord, that we do not do anything or ask anything, God, that we can do it from the blood of our own flesh, God. That your will is in us. Every request, Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. just overlook the obvious. Yeah. 
You ever do that? I mean, let's just be real honest. Word of God, He, he knows how simple we really are. And uh, we can overlook the things that God is trying to bless us with. Just play our softness, if you will. We'll be done in just a minute. But I want to I wanna point your attention to this. The Bible said, the Father of mercies. Right. Now, if we were talking about a family member, and uh, just an example tonight, Brother Ken, if, if somebody pointed out, maybe they were visiting and they pointed out, Brother Ken, Brother Matthew said now, who's his father? I'd say, well, that's, that's Brother Ken. That's, that's their father. By the way, boys, y'all can't deny that. <laughs> and as I read this verse, the Bible said he's the father of mercies. Let that sink in just a minute. If you need mercy tonight and you're a child of God, then your heavenly father is the father of of mercies. That's one of his attributes. You want to know about God? In other words, what I'm saying is, now, sometimes when Mason acts up, Susan will say, well, that's your boy. And I'll say, no, that's your boy. Huh? Well, when you think about the attributes of God, His is mercy. His is truth. His is grace. Ever good gift and ever perfect gift comes from above. And if He's the Father of it, He's in complete control of it. I don't know why the Lord brought me to this verse and I know this seems because we'll be preaching from it tomorrow, but I feel like somebody needs to hear it tonight. That if He's your heavenly Father and you need mercy, you're in business. Because He's able to give you. Notice what else He said. Let's, let's back up. Three things here. Blessed be God, even the Father. There's that full name. We've learned that, Brother Ron. We went through that in college. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the Father of the all-powerful Prince of Heaven, the King of Glory. Jesus, that one that was born of a virgin. Christ, that Messiah that was crucified to take away the sin of the world. He's the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies. Now watch this. And the God of all comfort. Oh, yeah. you might, you might. Now if there's ever a day or an hour that we need comfort, we need it today. Yes. Would you not agree? Yes. yes. I'll guarantee you there's people here tonight, whether you're sitting in this tabernacle or you're in your vehicle tonight, you need comfort. You need something that is going to, somebody that's going to tell you, hey, it's going to be all right. Hey, yeah. right. It, it, it'll be all right. Yes. You see youngins, you know, they get tore up wanting something, who they go to? Right. Hey, Amen. Right. If you need comfort tonight, maybe you need to, if, if He's your heavenly right. Father, Maybe you just need to come to the Father. Hey. Yes. He's the God of all yes. comfort. Hey. Yes. He's, the, he's the Father of all mercy. Yes. You, know what, you know what else? That Father, that Father passes some things down. Yes. 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 Well, you know what? If you're His child tonight, He's got your best interest in mind. Amen. And the mercy He wants to give you. And I don't know who this is for, but I know there's some people here tonight, verse 4, who, who comforteth us 
in all our tribulations yes. that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. You say, preacher, I don't understand why I'm going through the problems that I'm going through. Maybe you're going through your troubles so you can experience them, so you can help somebody else when they're going through troubles. Yes, yes. yes. All right. Amen. Amen. We deal with it from time to time. Jesus was in that boat with the disciples. They was a pitch and a fit. Wanted him to get up. Wanted them to understand why he was sleeping. All the trouble they went through was with that old crazy maniac living in the tomb so he'd come to Jesus. Yes, Whatever you're going through tonight, there's a purpose. There's a plan that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Now, hey, now watch this. If he's the God of all comfort, and you're his child. If you're truly a Christian, and this is where I have trouble believing some people's a Christian. But if you're a Christian, there's some things that's passed down. Amen. And the mercy that God has shown you, and He's shown me. Hey, church. Yes, sir. We didn't show it to other people. Amen. This crowd, oh, bless God. I don't care what well, now. That ain't an attribute of God. Isn't it amazing? We want the mercies of God when we need it, but nobody else deserves it. We want grace when, when we need it, but don't give nobody else grace. They need justice. Come on. Come on, If He's the Father of mercy and you're His child, now isn't that what Paul said? Am I misinterpreting this? He said, that mercy that God's shown you and He's shown me, you need to pass it down to somebody else that needs it. Now, I tell you what be good tonight. You may not be needing something, but there may be somebody else here needing something. The Lord may speak to your heart. You may just need to be encouraging to somebody. Just say an encouraging word. You never know. Now, it's easy. It's not easy, but a lot of times we'll come to church and we'll put on a smile. But we carry a heavy load. You ever do that? These people here need somebody maybe just smile and say, Hey, Lord, put you on my heart. I, I'm going to be praying for you. I don't know what you're going through. And I'll tell you, there'll be times in the middle of the night, Brother Craig, the Lord will wake me up and somebody's name will just come to mind. I don't know what they're going through, but the Lord does. Yes. And that mercy that God has shown us, He's the Father of mercy. If you're His child, you need to show mercy. Yes. You need to show grace. You need to show compassion that the Lord would work through you. Amen. I don't know what all that's for, Brother Kim, but there it is. I hate you have to lead us after that and if you'll come on let's have a good word prior let's stand tonight I tell you if there's every day in an hour we see all these troubles if there's every day in an hour we need true Christians I'm talking about soldiers for the cause of Christ we need them today yes, sir. we need them to hey we need to be showing people the grace of God, the mercy of God, the help of God, the Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight. You've been so good. You've been so gracious. You've been so kind. Dear Father, I pray that you'd help us in the singing tonight, Lord, that we would some way, in our feeble effort, we would glorify and uplift your precious name. We'll thank you for it. We'll praise you for it. For it's in Christ's precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Page 313. I have somebody with me. Amen.
317. His love lights away, 317. <laughs>
name. Let's get our ushers to come around if you will. Receive the offering this evening. Be good. Brother Ron Simmons, pray for us tonight. Heavenly Father, we come to you again thanking you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to be here to pray. Yes, you. Thank you for Thank all that you do for us, all the answer prayers, all the answer prayers you're going to answer. We thank you for everything that you're going to give us. Yes. Give us your word. Let it go to our heart, Lord, and we use it and apply it. And we use this to spread your gospel, Lord. And everything that we do, we give you honor, glory, and credit. Take this offering now and uh, you pray you use it to further your gospel, Lord. And we love you and praise you. In Jesus Christ's precious name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Yes. 
where once were mountains, you made them low, where there were stones, now there is water, you satisfied my thirsty soul, there's strength in no made us 
This world didn't make you. The devil didn't make you. Your job didn't make you. Your circumstance didn't make you. God made you. The breath you're breathing, that's the breath that God gave you. Them eyes you're looking to is the eyes God gave you. The, the uh, opportunity and the ability to walk down to this tabernacle and drive on these grounds. Hey, that's not what you've done. That's not your ability. My preaching, and God help us that we understand anything we do for God, it's because God allowed us hey, to do it. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Sure. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. You know what? You heard that old saying a spoonful of sugar makes a medicine go down? Well, I don't want to swallow no spoonful of sugar, okay? But I understand the principle. This life gets a lot easier if you'll get a song in your heart. Anyway. The circumstances in your life get a lot easier when you understand who's in control of your circumstance. Now the storms may be raging and the waves may be beating on the ship, but hey, he's still the captain. I got to back up. Y'all forgive me. Verse 3. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. You say, well, preacher, that's happened to me, but I just, I, I'm right there, but I'm just not quite past my trouble. Well, that's why verse number five, the number of grace, that's why this verse is here. For the Lord is good. His mercy is is temporary. Is that what it's saying? Long as America's thriving, long as the economy's doing well, then God's mercy, it'll last. But the first problem that you have, then His mercies, you can cancel that out. There's no more grace. There's no more help. God's too nervous. He's running hid. He's waiting for things to blow over so he can be God again. Friend, he was God yesterday. He was God today. He'll be God tomorrow. He'll be God in eternity. My friend, God's not nervous tonight. He's not worried. He's got it all under control. And God is still good regardless of the way I feel, regardless of the outcome of the way America's acting right now, can I say to you, God's still on the throne. He's still worthy to be praised. His name needs to be glorified. And if He said, if my name will be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And if we'll just praise Him, if we'll glorify Him, if we'll uplift Him tonight, I guarantee you that For the Lord is good. Amen. Now the reason I don't like getting on, and I'm with the help of the Lord, I'm not going to tonight. I don't like dealing with politics. I don't like dealing with he said, she said, this is mad about this, this is a proven of that. I really don't care tonight. But can I say this to you? The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. Amen. And His truth endureth to all generations. You yes. know that truth, Brother Billy, that led me to the Lord? Right. Jesus don't come. Let me give a little comfort tonight. There's a lot of mamas and daddies. They tore up about the way this thing going to turn out. If Jesus don't come, hey, it's going to get bad. I agree with you. But that truth 
is going to endure. Right. Jesus is going to endure. Yes. I, don't know if you, I don't know if you figured this out yet or not, but this world's been bad for a long time. We've been sheltered here in America. We've been sheltered our little corner of the world. And we've, we've basically, we've tuned a deaf ear to it. We don't understand. Hey, ever since they was two boys playing around in a field, they've been sin, they've been murder. Cain killed his brother. I'm talking about, they wasn't even two generations in and they was killing. They was lying. They was bloodshed. They was things going on just like they are here tonight. But can I say to you, God's been faithful generation after generation after generation. And if Jesus don't come, He's going to be faithful generation after generation after generation. That truth that hung on the cross of Calvary was true then. It was true the day the Lord saved me. It be true on
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It might be time for you to, it may have been a long time since you just come and said, thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for changing my life. I was headed down the wrong road, you yes. say. Yeah. Hey, some of you here tonight, you may have been saved at an early age. You say, Preacher, I don't know what you're talking about. I had not done that sin, that sin, those sin. Those. Oh, there, I hear people testify. How long has it been since you thank God for the grace He put in your life? Yeah. It saved you from sin. I hear people brag on their testimony about how they done this and how they done that. Now, Lord, you know what's more impressive to me? The grace of God that will keep a child from doing those things. Yes. I tell you what we need to do. Let's sing. They're going to sing another verse of that. We're going to give you another opportunity. God spoke to your heart. I want you to come thank the Lord tonight. Let's thank the Lord. We need to get some thanksgiving in our heart tonight.
Let's stand tonight if you will. Appreciate you being here tonight. We thank the Lord for the opportunity to be here. Thank the Lord for His Word. Thank the Lord for the good singing, the good fellowship. It's just good to be here at the Lord's Tabernacle on the grounds. And what a blessing it is. Amen. Continue to pray for the Huggins family. Remember them uh, tomorrow, and I know they'll greatly appreciate that. Okay. Psalm 103 and verse 1 said, to Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless His holy name. Amen. Good evening. May the Lord bless you.